Hey guys, my name is James and I play games, and today we're here with the Book of Unwritten Tales. Um, I'm starting le yet another Let's Play uh, with a different game, because I wanted, I thought, I always do one, focus on one, and then it kind of fades out, and something else, and whatever. I wanted a mix of all of them, and then we can keep going with all of them uh, together, so no one gets bored of any of it. That's the idea. And... Yeah, so we're going to be playing the Book of Unwritten Tales. Um, let's read the description for you. War is brewing in Aventasia. During the eternal struggle of the alliance of free races against the army of shadows, an aged gremlin archaeologist, Mortimer McMuffin, discovers a secret repository that houses legendary artifact. Knowing that this ancient treasure could turn the tide of war, the army of shadows sends their best agent to seize it. At the same time, four unlikely heroes from the alliance are drawn into the crisis, a cute gnome Wilbur, a stunningly attractive wood elf princess Ivo, and a brash pirate Nate with his fairy companion, the mysterious Critter. The Book of Unwritten Tales is a classic point-and-click adventure game with a cornucopia of humorous re references. Whether it gently lampoons a particularly popular MMO or the stereotypical fancy conventions, it's sure to put a knowing smile on the face of even the most hardened adventurer. If you're looking for a co comedic relief from all the super serious plots of modern games, this beautifully presented point-and-click adventure will be perfect for you. So, there you go. It kind of sums it up. Um, when I was first uh, you, you, well, sorry. you may notice 23 minutes of game time. Reason being, when I first uh, installed it, it, uh, it was having problems and stuff like that. So, yeah, just to make sure it was all working and nothing was going wrong. So, I did. I did the first, the first, the very first scene um, in the first chapter. And uh, it was 23 minutes long, which is perfect. Because then the videos aren't like 45 minutes long. They're nice and short, like 23. It's probably be 24, 25 or something. Because this talk at the start. Um, but yeah, it's going to be really good. So I'm going to be ending up replaying stuff that I've already played. Um, for now. But then after that, it's going to be a blind run. Just try and get stuff done. It's, it's very laid back, relaxed. I can talk about whatever the hell I like, you know. Just have a bit of a laugh or whatever, or a joke, or just, you know, chill. So, yeah, sit back, relax, get the popcorn or something, I don't know. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that being said, let's play the Book of Unwritten Tales. So, if I remember right from what came before, we start off as Ivo, the uh, elf. The elven princess, so, yes. I, lo I love this menu it's very it, it's very nice it's very well done it's just like you go into the book and it's the book of unwritten tales it's very it's really clever I like it anyway uh, I won't continue Dane I want a new game chapter one prologue let's get this done all right ah <sighs> Ninety nine percent, ninety nine red percent balloons. Mm -hmm. I agree. Only the old can remember a time without fear, without bloodshed. Defeat followed victory. Victory followed defeat. No one will gain a decisive advantage. thought that it would fall to someone like me, an old archaeologist, to put an end to this madness. And I didn't find the key to ending the war on one of my expeditions, not deep in some dark dungeon, nor on the peak of a fiery mountain. No, I found it in an old book. I only hope that luck has not abandoned us. What's happened to Beetle and the Archmage's men? Doesn't he know how... Or... So then, <laughs> you're MacGuffin, are you? Archaeologist, Here we go. adventurer, and future trophy on my mother's living room wall. 
And you are Monkus, dastardly son of the Archwitch Mortroka. What do you want from me? I think you know that. Where is it? We know that your feeble-minded servant was on the way to that damn magical trickster Abister. I won't tell you anything. Take him away. Mother has ways and means of squeezing what we need to know out of him. After all, what's likely to happen? Oh well. This is I several days away from the wildlands. It's just as safe here as in the elf bar. I love that intro. Back to the elf burrow as well. Bit like, you know, back to the back cave or whatever. It's very cliche. That's that's kind of what they go for. They they do puns do like it. that. It's really it's really it's really good. Hints, you can move Ivo using the left mouse button or move her to da -da 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 -da. I know. I've done this. I've done this before. Come on, let's go. Take a look at an object, da 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 da. One end of the rope is not, not entirely. entirely. I could use it to swing onto the other side of the leg. Hint, to use the rope, click it again. I've already done this. Here we go. Whee! And then, get it over here. The metal cage is fastened onto the dragon's harness. The old gremlin's in the cage. He hasn't noticed me yet. Here we go. Speak to the gremlin. Hey, hello. You there? <coughs> I know what else is going to save the day for you. Call me Ivo. The question is, in fact, who are you and why were you kidnapped? So, yeah, this this is here is Ivo, the uh, Elven Princess. This here is the Gremlin, as we saw. And yeah, the the first chapter is basically uh, just <laughs> it's a play on Legolas and what he does with if you know the Lord of the Rings and. Uh, the elephant when he kills the elephant. Uh, I th I'm pretty sure that's what they were going for. Anyway, let's go More with the second one. More interesting to me is who you are and why someone's tried to kidnap you. Professor McGuffin's the name. I'm an archaeologist. I've discovered something. Something important. And they want it? Oh, yes. You've no idea how much they want it. And, uh... It's also a bit like, as you can tell with these, like, the choices, Telltale games, or something similar like that. It's a choice-based game as well, so they have a lot, they have a lot of things going in, point-and-click adventure game, which is choice-based, so. Uh, let's see, what do we have? Tell me, what have you discovered? I don't care, I'm here to set you free. Obviously, we're going to go guess. with this one. Your kidnappers up there want to use your knowledge to achieve world domination? They scoff, but they would have to skin me before I tell them what I know. Okay then, I'll release you and let you mortals carry on playing at war. No! We've got no time to lose. You! You must take this ring. Take it to the Archmage Alistair in the town of Seastone, on the coast. He will send someone to my house. The book See what I mean by uh, uh, playing on Lord of the Rings. Is there in the secret cellar. He must get it to safety. And what about you? I will win you as much time as I can. I can endure torture for hours, days if need be. The pain, the humiliation, the agony of body and soul. Perhaps I should just release you and we'll do without the pain and death bin. Makes sense that to me. That would, of course, also be an option. Less dramatic, but if you insist, I can hardly stop you. How can I get you out of there? Good question. This cage is well built and the lock won't be easy to deal with. I could untie the cage and then it would smash when it hits the ground. Just like my old bones. But it's not a bad idea. <laughs> On the way to Mortrobus Fortress, we'll fly over the White Ridge Mountains. Everything's covered in snow there and the dragon will fly low over the peaks. We could try it there. That was a joke. The chances of that working are about a million to one. 
don't see any other way to escape. Fighting is not an option. Let me see how the cage is fastened. You do that. I'll be uh, here if you need me. <laughs> not they have no, much choice, but I should probably release the old gremlin before we get into enemy territory. We'll have to see how we go after that. Okay, so this ring go. fastens the cage to the dragon. I must have to undo it if I want to drop the cage, the cage onto, onto the mountains. mountains. Yes, well done. This is too tight. Mm -hmm. I won't be able to undo this just using my hands. But if I had a knife or a sword, I could perhaps cut the rope. And then we talk to the gremlin again about it because he's smart. Hey, MacGuffin. What is it? What do you know about your kidnappers? How can such a heavy load da 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 da? How does plan go again? I cannot engage with the my bare hands. The secured with a thick rope. I can't release it using my bare hands. Then you'll have to cut through the rope. Splendid idea, but I don't have a knife. Then get your hands on one. The kidnappers up there are sure to be armed. I fear that could be true. <laughs> How can such a heavy loaded dragon fly Isn't it at all? a trifle improbable that a 50 meter long dragon with a pathetically small <laughs> wingspan could be physically capable of transporting such a substantial amount of gear? How should I know? I'm an archaeologist, not an aeronautical scientist. I don't concern myself with trivialities. I see it flying, so I believe it. I, however, find it illogical. Simple. Then it must be magic. If something isn't logical in this world, then it's always down to magic. Very of course. Practical. You can explain everything like that. If something's flying that can't fly, magic. True enough. Every fantasy thing ever. What do you know about your kidnappers? So how do your plan go again? I'll carry on then. That kidnapper with his troll. Who is he? The sorcerer. He's called Marcus. He's the son of the Archwitch Mortroga. The Arch Witch? How did she know that you'd made such an important discovery? Beetle, my servant. I sent him on a secret mission to the Arch Mage. I must have caught him. Beetle. I'll just carry on then. You wait here. That's the way up onto the dragon's back. Reach this Here we go. Street. Now we talk to the gremlin and be like, "Hey, how did we get up there? Oh yeah, you smart. Tell me." What is it? Here we go. Da, 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 da. I'm not going to be able to get up onto the ring back without some help. I've if done this I'm before, going to remember. steal a knife from the kidnappers, then I need to get onto the back of the dragon. There's a support strut there. If I could reach it, I'd be able to pull myself up. No problem. Here, take this. A whip? It's always served me well. You can use it as a rope. <laughs> You'll find the whip just as all other objects in the inventory at the bottom of the screen. Cool. Ah, carry I'll on just then. Carry on then. You wait here. I love. I also love the way it was um, playing like the cliche where it's just like, uh, you know, at first it's like one giant leap and she was up on the dragon and then now it's just like uh, you have to um uh, yes uh, perhaps i can reach the strut using the gremlin's whip so now, come on. and then it's suddenly like oh no i can't jump like 0.2 meters no <laughs> star wars reference let's go what Yes, That's yes, not Star I'm Wars, that's Indiana Jones! Hence the whip! Yes, oh, damn it. I'll bring him Get it right, me, James, mother. get it right. Yes, yes, yes. I, I have to go! Why? I'm, I'm staring at a dragon, dragon remember? remember? You know, I'm not being catch with you. I, I, yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm. Yes. 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 See you later. later. Love, Love you, you too. too. <laughs> oh, by the gods, how I hate her! No, not much longer, Marcus, not much longer. Soon you will have it in your hands. But you have to be careful, Marcus. Mother is mistrustful. She has her agents everywhere. And you are talking, talking to, to yourself. yourself. 
Let's <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I love it. But no, that. Da, 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 da. It's clearly Indiana Jones. I don't know why I was saying Star Wars. Oh, freaking Star Wars. Get it right, James. Get it right. Stick with the flag of the Shadow Army. The stick's been tied loosely to the railing. An old cardboard box. It seems to be some kind of emergency kit of the Dragon Crash lands. Tick. Got it. And the sorcerer hasn't noticed. There are a few Take it. blankets in the box. Go. A bit of dried meat covered in white mold. Lovely. And a blue and red potion and hmm. a line with a fish hook. It looks quite serviceable. I'll take it with me. Good on you. And here we see the crafting system. You can combine objects in the inventory by selecting an object and then clicking it with another object, so Badoof. It's blue. Knock the line to the tip of the stick and hey presto. presto. I've got a fishing rod. Got a fishing rod. Lovely. We yeah, have fishing rod. Here we go. Boop. Get the sword. I could try and put push like the arrow keys to move forward. It's not. It's a point and click game, James. Oh yes, I know. That's what I'm trying to do. Yes, you have to talk to the gremlin first. Make sure it's okay with being pushed off. Off a dragon and landing on a cliff. The, I, I was eavesdropping on the sorcerer. What so does he want from me exactly? A great treasure? A weapon? I can't tell you. Too dangerous. Actually. No. I don't have it either. What do you mean? I found a clue in an old book as to where the artifact. where it is hidden. Artifact? It. This is getting more and more cliché. Cliché? A struggle of good against evil is never cliché. <laughs> you mentioned your secret I love cellar. it. Is that where the book's hidden? Pretty risky. I've got a sword and can come through the rope as soon as you're ready. Fine. I'm ready when you are. We're over the mountains. It's now or never. Are you really sure? I am. But... but? I don't survive, or they catch me, then you'll have to fetch the book from my secret cellar and take, take it to the Archmage. The Archmage. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen now. It's going to go wrong. That would be a real unexpected adventure. You mean, if you die, the young, sexy elf will become the hero of this story rather than an old, dishevelled gremlin. How improbable. <laughs> don't talk, just cut me free! <laughs> I like this game. I really like this game. Right it's very clever. There's the mountain. Good luck, MacGuffin. Okay. We're gonna time this perfectly. Mountain, cut it. Here we go. Here we go, the Legolas Elephant moment, as I like to call it. You know what else it reminds me of? Skylanders. It's very Skylanders y. Jan Faison or Fenson has a lot to do with this game. She's uh, partakes in the credits quite a bit, as you will see. Da, 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 da. 
Good on you, Benny. Good music, boy. <laughs> Go again, Jan. And Frederick. Working hard at it, saving well, the world. This is the next, I'm, I'm the, next section. Rather. I can see. Beavering away, eh? <laughs> what were you this time? A knight riding high on his horse? Or one of those funny little mages again, eh? <laughs> hey, hero. I've got a job for you. A quest. Send my new house robot off on a rat hunt. That rat's got it in for my precious hops. And if I don't plant them, beer's going to be a wee bit scarce. I've never heard of a hero having to catch rats. You're not a hero yet, laddie. You're still my helper. And that being the case, you'd better get your act together. Then you can finish up here and go and have some more heroic daydreams. <laughs> I need to go and do a quality control check on barrels 2034 to 2038. I've got a feeling there might be something wrong with the 2030 batch. We'll see. We'll see. And here we are in the next section. So this is where I will leave you um, for this. So we're going to quickly save the game. And then, yeah. Uh, I'll say test run empty. We're going to call this run... Um, <laughs> I don't know. The gem of all stones. There we go. Beautiful. A poo. <laughs> the gem. Let me just type it in again. Of all stones. Beautiful. Can we exclamation? Ah, oh, dash. Lovely. That is. Save the game. Lovely. Right, well, if you guys did enjoy, please do like, comment, and subscribe. You can uh, expect plenty more of this game, because I absolutely love it. Why? Because it's a, a point-and-click-based game, which means, uh, unlike, you know, Hollow Knight, it, it doesn't really require talent. You just have to sit here and play it, which is great. Because, um... I'm not particularly talented in uh, 2D platformers, as we know from Hollow Knight, probably. Actually, you won't. I've pre-recorded a lot of videos. It only starts getting bad at episode 4, gameplay-wise. Although I do fail the tutorials, so... Yes. It gets better, but then the enemies change, and it get worse again. Then it get better after that. So, it goes up and down. Anyway... As I say, if you guys did enjoy, please do like, comment, and subscribe, and talk in my hand like. Check that out. And yeah. Okay. Never mind. The, the the swipe to the side to stop the recording doesn't work. Lovely. And that doesn't work. Out. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to quit the game. Now I'm gonna stop it. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, yeah, yeah, I've said this enough times already. <laughs> Check out the next episode and bye.